Do you have any email templates that you have done or no? You don't have any? No, no, I don't have any. All right. So what you want to do, let's say if you have, let's say if we do the, the master list is your Melissa list right here. Yeah. Uh, you want to go and create email. You could create any type of email. I think, I think I normally do the uh, HTMI email. So I create an email. So basically you will have email that is already typed up. So, you know, testing sequence, you could delete it later. Yeah. Testing one. So, you know, you will type your email, blah, 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 whatever, right? Right. And then you go save and exit. And then you see how I save the email here? Yeah. All right. Um, I could schedule email. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to do another. So I'm going to do another email. Okay. So, because sequence is one email after another. Right? right. Okay. So this is testing email too. Same thing. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Save and exit. Okay, and you see my second one here, right? Okay. All right, so I could, I'm just copying, like copy to draft. So now I have this one, it's number three. Uh, I'm gonna edit it so that you can see it's number three. Testing three. See how I have one, two, you know what, let me, Let me delete this one so I could be, you could see. So I'm going to copy another one and I'm going to change this one to two. One, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. I could do another one, one, two, three, four. So now I have all this email type out. Now I'm gonna go into the schedule. You see the schedule right here? Mm -hmm. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go click on schedule and you see uh, when should this email send now? Well, email one, let's say the opt-in, we want email one to send out immediately. So you see how it says send immediately right here? Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna do anything about it. So I'm gonna, um, or you could change it to, so, you know, immediately. So that means whenever they opt in, they will get it right away. Mm -hmm. okay. So I will click on, uh, I will put uh, send immediately. I'll just leave it like that. As soon as they opt in, they will get that, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, anybody in your list? Um, no, well. Okay. Yeah, I have one person that I know. She, I can, I test on her often. Oh, should I create a different list for this? Let me create a different list. Let's, let's, all right, so I have this. I'm going to create a, a, a new list. All right. Uh, this option. I'm just going to create a new list so that we don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Next step. This man testing. All right, so here's my new list. So now I should have a new list, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to my message, my draft. I'm gonna go to the draft. You should see uh, where my draft. Uh, 
what is our draft? So let me go to my draft. Why don't I see it on my draft? Oh, because I was on the different list. Okay, I'm gonna go to this list. I didn't see it on the, the other draft because it was under this list. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna copy everything here to the sequence test. You see how I do this? Yeah. So if you have a email that you have different lists and you want to send them all to 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 another list, like copy and paste, you could always come here. Mm. Um, I'm gonna delete this so you don't have it. So now I'm gonna go to this list. Now you should see five email, one, two, three, four, five, okay? <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my schedule it. When should I send it? You could always change this, right? Who should receive this email? You could see all of this. When does it send? You could set a day and time, okay? Um, otherwise, you know, you could ch change it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Okay, hold on, one second. Mm, this is just send it out, let me see. Uh, drafts. Campaign, that's what, because this one will actually put you into, um, like you have to set a date. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you do a webinar, this is where it's gonna be good if you're running a webinar. Let's say if you promote a webinar and you ask people to register and your webinar, let's say it's on the, the third, okay? Mm -hmm. You could set your email, like an email reminder, like you could have, okay, my, my first email sent out. So let's say this is the webinar that you're hosting, right? Mm -hmm. Your first email is as soon as they register, they should get this email and this is mm -hmm. where it's sent out, okay? And then your second email, right? Your second email. It's in the say, basket. Sorry. Just, okay. Your second email. So we just sent our one, one out. Let's say your second email, your second email should be um, on, the, on the second, I mean on, mm -hmm. on Wednesday, whatever day, right? So you click on that and you change, the, you change the time. So you will send this email, hey, I'm so excited that you decided to attend the, 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 my webinar. I can't wait, we're only two days away, so don't forget you know blah 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 or you make a little video for them to see and then you could put this to send it to on wednesday mm -hmm. so this is when we're doing a webinar that's how you use use like this okay so it was it's scheduled to send on the first okay mm -hmm. oh shoot, i forgot to click you have to click on confirm that so let's say I, and you could actually change the time too right right so you confirm that and then you have a third email you want to send because this is how the webinar go. They send few email before the email starts. So the third mm -hmm. email you probably want to send uh, on Friday, you know, maybe, you know, you send it, your, your, your webinar time is at three o'clock, maybe send it at 10 o'clock in the morning. Say, hey, I'm, I'm really excited that we're only a few hours away, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. right? And then your last email you want to send is an hour before your webinar, okay? If you look, if you pay attention to most of the people that yeah. attend the webinar, they send it out frequent. So on Friday, you want to send, you know, if it's three o'clock, that means I want to send it out at two o'clock, right? We are an hour away. Don't forget to set your time, blah, blah, blah. But I'm so excited. And then the last email you want to send, you could actually send at the time that the, the um, webinar starts. So it's at three o'clock, yeah. then you will send it at three o'clock. Say, hey, are you hey coming? Hey guys, we're starting right now. Yes, are you coming? We're starting right now, blah, blah, blah. So that's how you set it up if it's a webinar, okay? Right. Now, when we're doing a sequence, so I have the sequence testing, now I have, you see the campaign? If you're mm -hmm. doing sequence, you want to go to campaign, okay? Uh, so we go to campaign. Once you go into campaign, you know, you're going to create a campaign. If you have 
I don't know if MRSP still have it or not. If MRSP doesn't have it, because it used to, when you sign up, they have a 10-day sequence that you could import that sequence, right? Or you could create, uh, you could create your own, your own sequence, okay? If you have a mini course, this is actually new. Let's say if you do a five-day challenge, okay? Mm -hmm. And you want to send them an email every single day. So you could actually use the mini course one, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's how you want to... Do you want to um, to do your sequence? Let's say we're gonna do just a blank one, okay? So you will give your campaign a name. So let's say this is um, boost your immune system. Let's say you, if you do something like that, right? And you want to, this is actually new. It used to be a, a, a lot harder, like not as, like this seems like you could drag and drop. So if you have, this is more like an automatic, so on subscriber. So now you can, you know, you tag all of the new subscriber. This is more like um, they, they are actually doing it something like um, doing what um, Active Campaign is doing. Right. So, um, so they st we started campaign. So you see how the trigger is when you have new subscriber to this, link, this, this, this list and they will get it and you save and, and exit. Now, no, you don't want to exit the campaign. All right, so now you have this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, doo -doo -doo. Create campaign, we already created campaign, so I'm gonna go. Uh, message. Yes. Filter. I don't need to add. You could add filter, but see, I want to. I want to. Um, all right. So this is the setting. So now you have the message, your wait time. The next step is the wait time. Save and cancel. Why is it not letting me trick a campaign? Drag and action. Oh, so we're gonna say send the email message out. You see how it started it, and then you kind of drag it mm -hmm. over, send the message. So you right. This, then now you create a message here. So let's create a message. So basically, time mini mini, um, what you call message. All right, so you're gonna go next. You see how you have next message, mm -hmm. right? And you can add automation. Basically tell the, you know, open the message, click the link, so whatever you want them to do. You know, you could add the link. Um, and then you wanna wait time. Let's say, how long are we gonna wait? So after they, after they opted in, they get the first message, right? And then you decide how many days, you know, how long, how soon after they receive their first message, you send out a second email. So, no, you know, you could do a day after or two days after, whatever you want to do. Let's say we do a, a day after. Mm -hmm. And then a day after you want to send out another message, okay? And then you, cre you create another message, whatever that message is, okay? So we're gonna create another message. And you know, um, with this one, if you're doing a recorded webinar, mm -hmm. you could actually use this sequence. So every time you wanna run the webinar again, you don't have to redo the whole thing, but only on the recorded webinar. Mm -hmm. So you see how now I'm like, they. As soon as they opt in, they get a, a, what we call a welcome message. And then a day right. later, they get a second message. And then, the, and then you, if you think, you know what, it's too much message, maybe I'll wait two days later, I'll send out another message. Mm -hmm. that, does it make sense? Yes. 
Okay, so that is how you you set up your your sequence. Okay, yeah, so your, your sequence is it's set up now in the way. So what it is is actually just telling you know you basically put them in 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 the place. It's more like the um, um, what do you call like putting in automation. Mm -hmm. Um. So question. Remember how you showed me before this. Um, how to set up if we're doing a webinar and we can choose the calendar and so on. Um, is that if I did it that way, that's still the same thing as doing it in this way? Well, this one, you not have a, you don't have a date like this one. It's, it's like an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. Let's say if just like people up into your MRSP, like MRSP used to have a 10 day, uh, sequence. So right. after they opted in, the um, first 10 days, they will get the email. So it doesn't matter if they opt in on Sunday or Friday, they will get the email. The sequence will start on the day that they opt in. Right. The I just show you, you have to pick the day, right? If your webinar is next Friday, right? If your webinar is next Friday, and people register on Thursday, which is the day before the, the webinar, they will not receive the Wednesday's, the Wednesday's uh, email. Mm. You know what I mean? Because you yeah. pick the day. This one, it yeah. doesn't have a day. That one is like you doing a live webinar and you know, like that one works very well if you have a webinar that has a date and you want them to click, uh, you know, register like a live webinar, you want to promote mm -hmm. that. That one will work. This one would be an ongoing thing. Okay. Okay. So this one is evergreen. So yeah. no matter whatever time of the day, month, year, they mm -hmm. subscribe, they're going to get these, e these uh, emails in the sequence. Yes. Got it. Uh, so if I'm going to, so let's go back to campaign. <sighs> at your setting. So you see how this have information? You see, this is actually the first time that I kind of sort of play with this. So it's actually kind of nice because what I did when I was um, with, I used it with MSP 10 day, um, the 10 days thing, Kimachiki, the 10 day mm -hmm. sequence. So uh, I need to add a message in here. So I'm gonna create a message. Save okay, it looks good. You see, you see now that I fixed all the problem. There's no little arrow saying that. And you see the mm -hmm. draft. And it, if you you are ready to run this campaign, you click on draft and that, get down here. Right. <laughs> you go click on active campaign. Now this campaign is ready to go. So no matter when they are in, they will receive that day one, day two, day three, day ten in uh uh. uh email that, that you send mm -hmm. out okay so it really right. doesn't matter okay so that's a tech campaign now there are other campaign i didn't you know they didn't have this before so i'm gonna go but wait before you do that um the link that i would be giving out would be in if i'm assuming if you click the boost immune that one there's a link in there no the there's opt -in link. well this will this one it's gonna be you know whatever they opt in from you will create it so you will create the funnel right into this sequence so let's say you know um the the, the shake let's say the shake um the one that we did together the, the yeah shake. that one okay you could create a sequence for that you okay can now go back and create sequence um, that fit right into here that lead them to buy me find something and I, I you know the shake one you could probably like after they opt in you know you have the welcome one and day two is hey I just want to check in to see how you are doing with the with the you know with the recipe. the recipes right how you like it Let, you know today if you have a blog right so 
and you want, oh, you have a YouTube channel, whatever it is, you want to drive traffic to, you say, if you like the recipe that I send, you will definitely want to check out my YouTube channel where I share a lot more healthy, easy recipe. Um, today, right. today's video, I show you how to make a healthy breakfast in less than 10 minutes. You know, and then the next day, you know, and of course, always at the end of your email, I always, always say PS, the PS line, it's always, yeah. so PS, if you need anything, reach out to me, uh, I'm just a phone call away, or I'm just an email away, or PS, I have an ebook that costs 99 cents to show you um, 10 things that you could do without purchasing anything or you know like selling a little something a little ebook or something does mm -hmm. that make sense yeah okay so you know you could you could actually doing sequence now let me tell you this um if you're doing let's say if you're doing a 10-day sequence if you're doing a 10-day sequence it is okay to send an email to your list once a day but if you go on to 20 or 40 uh, uh, um, listing, up to your 10 day list, uh, up to your 10 days, the first 10 days email, maybe cut it down to every yeah. hour. Okay. Space it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, people get annoyed. I, I get annoyed getting like email every day for 40 days. Yes. So you want to like, you know, scale back a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So that's how you create sequence. Easy. It's easy. Okay, good. But here's my other, sorry. Then mm -hmm. how do you attach it to, let's say we're doing the shakes, then how would you link them together? So they opt in. You, you go to your shake, you actually go click on your whatever list you want to create a campaign. Like you right. say, I click on the shake, I go to message, I go to campaign. Oh, and you do it from there. Yeah. Got it. Instead of, you know, you know how you're sending an email out, you go to shake and you go to message and that's only allowing you to send out one mess, one email. Where if you go to shake and you, you let, you know, you go to look at campaign, you click on campaign. Now you could develop campaign. Okay. okay. And so when they opt in, then this happens automatically then. Yes. Then you don't have to. So, uh, you know, it would, it's, it's a good idea for you to start, like, I don't know how much work you have going on now since you're working at home. Yes. It's, it's like you have, you have, if you have a lot more time right now, I would suggest you, you know, you already have a lead magnet to give, give out and you say you want to make some money. I would create an ebook a little bit, you know, the, the shake is like what, 10 page or less. Uh, yeah like the shake recipe. So now, you know, put the shake recipe and your mix with breakfast, lunch and stuff like that into a big recipe ebook. Mm -hmm. And sell it for 99 cents. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of money, but you know, you know, it is at least, you know, 99 cents, 10 person, it's $9, $10, not a big deal, but start getting your name out and start getting a little bit of money. Right. So that's something that you could do and you could start also developing a sequent email. So once the economy go back and whatever, you get busy again with life, you don't have to worry about sending them email again, at least for the first 10 days. Right. Does it make sense? That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, let's say right now, let's say if you have, you, you, you're giving out that not, uh, the not, not shake recipe, you want to create a campaign. Now, earlier we say mini course campaign, mm -hmm. you could actually create a mini course. Let's say if you want to start building your own Facebook group, start building all your own trial with lock people in, you could actually create Let's say you create a Facebook group, but you want to send them out there. Um, you, you see the mini course one? Mm -hmm. It's automatic, automatically. This is so cool. I actually like this. I might this is nice. Yeah. So you could actually, welcome to the course. 
you see how they already have the templates for you. All you need to do just put in there. Then if I were you, you have the non, you have the lead magnet, give out the lead magnet, and then start doing a little course, like a five day challenge or whatever. Something, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this one is already done for you. You just need to put your own message in there. Got it? Yeah. yeah. So that that's done. This one's pretty much done, except you just need to put your message in there and then you activate a campaign. Got it? Got it. That's cool, right? Easy peasy? That is cool. So you, you do have a lot more option. I mean, I don't want you to overwhelm yourself like doing different things. I would stick with create a blank campaign mm -hmm. or a mini course campaign, right? If you want to do a five day thing. Uh, You could actually go and play with this. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. But like that, there's the welcome series. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then you, you could actually, you know, see what it is. I don't know if MLSP still have that cause MLSP used to have that. I don't know if they do uh, have the welcome series campaign anymore. Cause they used to have 10 day and I have, I, I type that in somewhere and I don't know where it is. Because uh, I don't think they have it anymore. I think they took it out because those um, the ten day sequence was kind of sort of old school, so they took it out. Mm. Um, but you know what to do now. Yeah. All right. So, any I other questions? Um, no, I think that covers how to do it. I, I didn't realize it was in there and so easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy now. Now you you know what to do. Now you have an idea of what to do, so you can get it done. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I gotta hop up to get her ready. Alrighty. Bye. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.